Anybody here? One minute. Be right with you. Ah, uh, sorry, uh, we're closed for the day. Didn't you see the sign? Yeah, I did, but on, on the door it says you're closed at six, and it's five of, and then the door was unlocked. So. It was? Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious, I forgot to lock it again? I forget everything. I, 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 I swear I must forget my keys like five times a day. I'd forget my prosthetic arms if they weren't attached to my shoulders. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. I don't have prosthetic arms. <laughs> I did used to sell them once, though. Now that is a tough business. Not as many armless people out there as you'd like to think. <laughs> Not like there were in the old days when people worked in factories and steel mills. Those places had machines that would rip your arm off like a pull and a of cherry. But nowadays, everybody works in the, the, the service industry and behind a desk. The worst you can get is a paper cut. <laughs> That'd have to be one heck of a big piece of paper to cut off your arm. <laughs> I guess so. But, uh, bit. I mean, everybody needs bats. Bats sell themselves. People with arms, people without arms. People with one arm. I think that covers it. We all need to sleep, am I right? Uh-huh. So that's why I started selling bats. But uh, that is a story for another day, because right now I have some paperwork to finish up, and then I gotta get home in time for Jeopardy! It's a teen tournament. Those are some smart kids, I'll tell you that much. So do you think you could come back uh, tomorrow? Actually, tomorrow's no good for me, and this really can't wait. Uh-huh. Um, is there anyone else here who could help me, or uh, is it just you? No, no, just me and the royal family. Kings, queens, they're beautiful twins. <laughs> Seriously, though, uh, why don't you come back on Monday? I will make it well worth your while. Give you one heck of a deal. Actually, uh, this won't take long. I know exactly what I want. Ah, a man who knows exactly what he wants and won't take no for an answer. Now, that's, that's good for you. That shows character, <laughs> decisiveness. It's the key to success. So, what can I get for you? Your money. The what? Keep your mouth shut and empty the register. Oh, oh okay, let's just stay calm. I mean, let's not do anything we both will regret, my friend. I'm not your friend! Would a friend pull a gun on you? Well, not a good friend. <laughs> Give me your goddamn money and I won't have to kill you. Oh, oh goodness. Oh, this is... Not your lucky day. Not my lucky day. You're the one about to no, get shot. No, what I mean is, I, I just sent Kevin to the bank on his way home. Uh, I, uh, Kevin, he's my junior sales associate. I literally sent him to the bank not 10 minutes ago with all this week's cash. Not that I sell many beds for cash these days. I, I mean, today's everything's on credit. And those credit card companies, they kill you with their 3% service fee on every sale. It's robbery is what it, well, not robbery like this is <laughs> You have a gun. Or is that a pistol? I can never tell the difference. You know, I don't know anything about guns, but I do know that's a scary one, I'll tell you that much. Shut up! Oh, right, right, sorry. Now open the fucking register! Uh, okay, okay. I, I mean, I'll, I'll open it for you, but uh, there's, there's nothing in it. I mean, see for yourself. It's empty. Oh, fuck me. Is there a safe in here? No. Oh, I wish I needed one. You know who you are? <laughs> Ron Trzinski from the original Mac. <laughs> We eliminate the middleman. Now he makes a pretty penny. Uh, I bet his stores have safes. There's one down by the Highland Park Bridge. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, 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 sorry. sorry. What's back there? Uh, uh, just, just a storage room. It's full of junk, really. I'm a pack rat. I can't throw anything away. You should see my house. My friend Howard calls it the Pittsburgh Museum of Garbage. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, I'm sorry. I told you this wasn't your lucky day. If you'd been here like 10 minutes earlier, you'd have gotten off with over 2,000 bucks. I, I, guess, I guess decisiveness isn't the only key to success. Decisiveness and timing. That's two keys. <laughs> Hope I don't lose those keys like I do my house keys. Would you please shut the fuck up already? Oh, okay, sorry. I, I, I can't help it. I, it's my nature. I'm a loquacious person. Loquacious. That sounds like a contestant on American Idol. Like if Lakeisha from season six had a baby with Fantasia from season three, they'd call it loquacious. Jesus Christ, do you ever stop talking? You have to be the worst salesman in history. You must send people running out of here screaming. Hey, you can rob me. You, you can even shoot me. But I will not stand here and let you insult me. I happen to be very good at what I do. I, I'm the ninth leading seller of Tempur-Pedic beds in the entire Pittsburgh area. <laughs> really? Well, how do you do it? Threaten to keep talking until they buy something? No. 
For your information, I do it by knowing my customers and knowing my products. And what I don't know, I pretend to know. People like to think that you know what you're talking about, even if you don't. That, 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 that's how you win their trust. By lying to them. Ironically, yes. People like to know you're in good hands. Oh, that's very interesting. Now give me your fucking wallet. Oh, dear. This is really not your lucky day. Now what? Well, there's only nine dollars in there. And, what? And I don't have any credit cards because, well, I think I've made my feelings clear about those thieving sons of a gun. <laughs> or son of a gun? Or sons of gun? Anyway, you get my point. Who the fuck only has nine dollars on him and no fucking credit cards? Fuck! <laughs> I don't spend much money during the day. I bike to work, I, I bake my own lunch, I'm trying to lose weight. I know what you're thinking, I should try harder. <laughs> I do try hard though, it's, it's not that easy. You wouldn't know about that, I mean look at you, you probably fit into the same pants you wore in high school. Hey, like a size 30 waist. Look, I came here for money. And I'm not about to walk out of here with nine dollars, you hear me? Loud and clear. Good, now you better come with something for me to steal. Or I will blow your head off and stuff these nine dollars down your bloody stump of a neck. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just stay calm. Let's not lose our heads here. Get it? <laughs> hey, okay, let me see. Um, what have I got? Uh, you can take the computer, but it's not worth much. I mean, it's really old. It's so old, there's probably an animal running on a wheel in it to make it work. <laughs> what? You know, like on the Flintstones, how like the camera has a woodpecker inside that shows a picture of a piece of stone with his feet, and then he turns to the camera and says, It's a living. <laughs> I'm going to count to ten. One, two, oh, okay, okay, three! Okay, okay, tell you what, tell you what. Take a bed. <laughs> oh, bed? Yeah, anyone you want. find the bed that meets your particular needs. Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't care which one. Oh, now, now that's where you're wrong, my friend. Choosing a bed is one of the most important decisions you can make. <laughs> do, do you realize that the average person spends eight hours a night in bed? Really? That's one third of your life. Picking the wrong bed, that's like marrying the wrong person. You'll wind up miserable. But you pick the right bed, my friend, and you'll wake up every morning with a smile on your face, ready to take on the world. Well, just give me the most expensive one you've got. No, no, no. The most expensive one isn't always the best. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, price tag. Let me ask you some questions so I can figure out your needs, okay? What kind of bed have you been sleeping on? A firm, medium, soft? For the last three years, I've been sleeping on a prison bed. Okay. So I'm guessing firm. <laughs> okay, come here. Have you ever tried a Tempur-Pedic bed? No. Oh, my friend, this bed is going to change your life. This is the model I sleep on. I wish the model I slept on was Tyra Banks, but this baby is an expensive <laughs> It's made of a space-age material that conforms to your body's every nook and cranny. Lay down, try it out. I don't want to. Oh, no, c come on, try it out. I want you to be satisfied. I mean, would you buy a car without test driving it? No, but I'd steal a car without test driving it. Oh. <laughs> touché, my friend, touché. But <laughs> try it out for just a little bit. I mean, Tempur-Pedic has a 90-day money-back comfort guarantee. Uh, I'm not sure that applies to a, a stolen bed. I'd have to check. But my point is, I have not been in business for 12 years by taking back beds from people who refuse to try them out and were dissatisfied. Fine! I will try it! <laughs> wow, that is comfortable. I told you. And, and the best part is, because there's no springs, there's no 
transfer of motion. Like, like you could put a wine glass on one side of the bed and bounce on the other side, and, and the wine wouldn't spill. Huh. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you could. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you're entertaining a little lady friend. You have a little vino. Things start to get a little frisky. Anyway, move over. I'll show you. What the <laughs> hell are you doing? <laughs> no, uh, oh, relax. You think I'm trying to put a move on you? Uh, uh, you're not my type, my friend. Not, not that you're not a handsome man. <laughs> you are. But uh, I go for the ladies, my friend. And if, if you still feel threatened, may I remind you, you have a gun. <laughs> what? Uh, sorry. I'm still a little jumpy from the whole uh, prison thing. In there, if you don't sleep with one eye open, you wake up in the morning with, with a cock in your mouth. Mm. <laughs> I would have thought you would have woken up sooner than the morning. <laughs>
No, but I used to be. Wait, 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 don't, don't tell me. Um, a locksmith. No. A roofer. No. Pool maintenance. No. Auto mechanic. No, what? and an actor. <laughs> an actor? Yeah. Is that right? Wow. You ever meet John Travolta? <laughs> no. Wow. Acting. Now that takes a serious talent. I mean, I could never do something like that. I mean, like, pretend to be someone you're not. Ugh. Although, I did play a banana in my third grade nutrition play. I had to say my lines and at the same time unpeel myself and then slip on my own peel. It was not easy, I'll tell you that much. Well, but people say actors are overpaid. No siree, I beg to differ. Hey, you ever been in anything I would have seen? Well, I did have a small part in an episode of uh, Law & Order. Ooh, Law & Order, impressive. I, I've never seen it, but I hear very good things. <laughs> oh. uh, what'd you play? Actually, it was a non-speaking part. Well, that, that's okay. Uh, what, what were you? A construction worker. <laughs> I knew it! I knew you were construction I can read people. I have a gift that way. It's something you need when you're in sales. Uh, why'd you give up acting? Because I suck at it. Just like I suck at this. I mean, I try to act all, all tough and dangerous and wave a gun around, but who am I kidding? I can never shoot anybody. No, 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 there you go again. That no can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta believe in yourself. I bet you could shoot someone if you put your mind to it. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say, but you're wrong. This gun? There aren't even any bullets in it. I'm pathetic. You know what your problem is? What? You have a poor self-image. <laughs> now, now, when you look in the mirror, you see a failure. But when I look at you, I see a success waiting to happen. A confident, good-looking, decisive winner. That, you kind of remind me of me. <laughs> I am not like you. Oh, yes, you are. You gotta learn to take a compliment, my friend. <laughs> I've been around, I know a lot about people, and you're a lot more like me than you realize. Only a little younger and a lot thinner. <laughs> uh, you know what? You could be a great salesman. Yeah, I don't think so. No, no, I, I know it. I feel it. You've got the gift. And do you really want to be a criminal the rest of your life? I mean, who needs that kind of aggravation? You deserve better. Shit! Uh, just calm down, stay, stay calm, pretend like nothing's wrong and, and, and she'll go away. Up, up, up. <laughs> She's not going away. Go get rid of her, tell her you're close. I'm sorry, not gonna do that. What the fuck do you mean you're not gonna do it? Just do it! No, no, you're gonna sell her a bed. <laughs> what? You're gonna sell her a bed. I wanna prove to you that you're a born salesman. Hello? Fuck, get rid of her right now! What, or what, what, you're gonna shoot me with your make-believe bullets? Excuse me. You want me to work here? Uh, yeah, yeah, he does, but uh... uh, uh <laughs> We're just finishing up. He'll be right with you. I don't want to say so much. Something's up. If you act like something's up, she'll know something's up. Now just go over there and do what I did when you came in. If this doesn't work, I can do attitude. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we're closed. Didn't you see the sign? Yeah, I did, but there's people inside, the lights are on, and the door is unlocked. Oh, jeez, I forgot to lock it again. I don't know what's wrong with me. I forget everything. I must forget my keys up to ten, ten times a day. I'd swear I'd lose my prosthetic arms if they weren't attached to my shoulders. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I don't have prosthetic arms, but I used to sell them though. Now that is a tough business. Not as many people without arms as there were in the, the good old days when everyone used to work in factories. Uh, people who lose arms like I lose my keys. Every two seconds, rip, there goes an arm. You know, actually, That's I'm why uh, I sell beds now. 
because uh, everybody needs a bed, even people uh, with arms. <laughs> Am I right? You know what? Maybe I'll just come back another time. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for coming by. My God. Is that what I sound like? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Wow, I'm even more charming than I thought! <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, my friend! Well, what uh -uh. are you talking about? She left! She couldn't get out of here fast Well, is, isn't that what you wanted? Well, yeah, I'll be... uh, Trust me, she was not a hot lead. She was a browser. I could tell the minute she opened her mouth. Hmm. I kind of sense that, too. <laughs> you see? You're a natural! Uh, huh. Wow. Well, um, I, I should get going. You gotta go find a truck. A what? For your bed. The one you're stealing? Oh, yeah, right. Um, <coughs> you know what? Forget it. Are you sure? Because, I, I mean, I know I may stretch the truth a little, but I never go back on my word. I mean, a deal's a deal. No, oh, that's, that's all right. Well, at least take a pillow. <sighs> okay. Thanks. Gun's under here. <laughs> <laughs> arms because these are a total waste. <laughs> well, um, see you around. Hey, listen. Do you think you could come back here Monday? We can always use another good salesperson around here. Me? Work here? Yeah, yeah, because just between us, Kevin, my junior sales associate, he stinks! Oh. He could not sell hotcakes, which for reasons I do not understand, apparently sell very well. <laughs> I don't even know what hotcakes are, and I've never seen them for sale anywhere, but my point is, the kid is terrible! <laughs> but you, with a little experience and training, you could sell veal to a vegetarian. <laughs> so you in? I don't know. Well, will you at least think about it? Okay, I'll think about it. Good. Hey, hey, what's your name, by the way? Wait, 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 don't tell me. Don't tell me. It's Rick. No. Jeff. No. John. No. Matt. No, 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 Mike. No, no wait, no, Matt. No. Mike. No, you really suck at this. No, I got this. I got it. I got it. Hold on. Um, Bill. No. Eddie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Eddie. Yeah. I knew it. I, I, I have a gift that way. And your face says Eddie all over it. Wow, you really do have a gift. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, Eddie, it's time for you to make an honest buck. No more stealing. Although these tempur beds are so easy to sell, it's almost like stealing. <laughs> so I'll see you Monday. Uh, maybe. No, no maybe. See you Monday. <coughs> Welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out. Welcome back. <laughs> he finally left. Of course, it took a lot longer than I thought it would. You know, with all the foot traffic you get around here, there ought to be more than 2,000 bucks in that register. You must be a terrible salesman. Sorry about the ropes and the tape. Necessary evil. Hope it doesn't hurt too much. All right. Thank you. You have been a wonderful victim. I'm just going to uh, wipe down some of my fingerprints here, and then I'll be on my way. Don't do anything stupid, or I'll be forced to shoot you.
he seemed like a really nice guy. He wouldn't want to do that. <clears throat> oh, by the way, guy might come in here on Monday expecting to have a job here as a salesman. His name is Eddie. Although I'm not sure that's his real name, he seems more like a Charlie to me. Anyway, I like him. He reminds me of me. So if he shows up, you hire him. Uh-huh. And I will be back to check. So you better do it. <laughs> And one more thing. <laughs> I'm going to help myself to one of these Tempur-Pedic beds. They're unbelievably comfortable. 